Right, so hello everybody, and this is going to be one of my random ones, where I basically give you my thoughts. And our topic today is Fallout New Vegas. Now, Fallout New Vegas came out on the Xbox One not all that long ago. I am massively jealous of you all. I actually have a PlayStation 3 here, but unfortunately I do not have everything I need in order to get my uh, my recordings going which does annoy me but you know hey it's one of those things so what we're going to take a look at is the history behind New Vegas now you are going to have or I have noticed this is why this is being done is I have noticed of recent a lot of videos going up about New Vegas from players that have been playing you know for a long each time a lot of players that know a lot about sort of the history of uh, Fallout and things like that um, But for me, I, well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you the information I know about New Vegas. I'm not going to tell you who you should or who you shouldn't pick. I'm not going to tell you who's good and who's evil. I'm going to take a logical look at these two separate, at the, the main two separate protagonist groups. Now I'm not saying that they're the only ones you can go for. By all, you know, there are four different endings. And that's my other little one that I'm going to be putting up after this one. Okay. So. In, fall, in the Fallout world and universe, there has never been a vault as important to shaping the Fallout world as Vault 15 was. Vault 15, like every other vault, harboured the survivors of the Great War. And when the doors of this vault opened up, the survivors span their way out onto the Commonwealth. From these su survivors, came three different groups. But from two of those three different groups became two of the biggest, most powerful armies to trail across the West and to fight it out over a piece of land. And yes, I am talking about the Legion and the NCR. And they both started in Vault 15. The NCR, as you know, was basically, uh, Tandy was the president for 50 years. The followers of the apocalypse also came from that vault. A very, how do, how do I, how do I describe the followers? Idealistic, I think, is the best way to describe the followers. Highly, highly idealistic. They believed that everyone had the right to free education, to free healthcare, to free everything. The NCR didn't, and the NCR and the followers ended up parting ways. Also to come out of that vault were the Great Khans. The Great Khans became one of the major raiding groups and raiding yes. parties of the West. Now,
Life went along for the NCR. Rather shitty compared to the sort of image that's given of them now. It was a sort of shitty type of past that the NCR had. Um, there was Vault City. The NCR decided they wanted their hands on Vault City and were not taking no for an answer. Whether Vault City wanted to join or not, the NCR was coming and taking it. And that's basically what the NCR did. The NCR were very, very, very like the Legion in their ways of practices and things that they did at one point in time. They did not take no for an answer very, very, very well. As for the NCR and the Brotherhood, the NCR and the Brotherhood of Steel have been fighting it out for years upon years. The NCR blew up all of the Brotherhood of Steel's gold mines. The Brotherhood retaliated doing the same thing. So the NCR and the Brotherhood had been fighting it out long before they crossed each other's paths on the Mojave Desert. So that there's a lot of old blood there. Then when the downfall of the Enclave came, it is known that many Enclave hid within the ranks of the NCR after the fallout and the downfall of the rig and everything else, many of them hid within the NCR. The, the NCR's past is not, and the NCR are not what they were made of. They're, they're, they're not the people you come across in New Vegas. Okay, that's sort of the best way to put it. I'm not gonna go with moral this is right, this is wrong, okay? I'm going to say to you, make a logical decision. But I'm also going to tell you, have fun. You know, make a logical decision before you go throwing your weight behind one of these groups. Um, the NCR go on about everything that the Legion does, the Legion's use of slaves. The NCR use the powder gangers, as they become known, for slave labour. Oh, but that's okay, they're prisoners. No, it's not. That is actually a breaking of human rights as well. People seem to forget that little one too. Um, the NCR hide a lot of what their men and women get up to. Uh, let's not forget what happened at Bitter Springs, the mass slaughter at Bitter Springs. But the NCR, actually, uh, uh, it's Cassandra Moore, when you actually speak to her, um, if you do the peace deal with the NCR, Cassandra Moore basically demands the slaughter of the Great Khans. She demands the slaughter of the Brotherhood of Steel. The woman is hardline, pure hardline NCR. Um, if you talk the NC if you talk the Khans into running, if you want to do the friendly ending, and you want to talk the Khans into running. Um, whenever the Battle of Hoover Dam is going on, she will not take it too well. She really does not take it too well. If you get the peace deal between the Brotherhood, she really does. I, I, seriously, I thought the woman was going to throw a hissy fit. Yes, I have done the friendly ending. I have never done hardline NCR. Uh, it's just something I haven't got around to. Uh, it's not really something I have any plans in doing. Um, but the woman did literally, she took, she took a mass hissy fit with me, um, all because <laughs> um, I, 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 all because I uh, basically was organising these things. It's the same with the followers. You can actually, if you can get your affinity up high enough and become idolised with the followers, you can talk the followers into helping at the battle of Hoover Dam. And they will actually make up a medical station in the middle of the dam for you. And she's not happy about that either. I mean, this woman is just, you know, she wants to wipe out the world. She really does want to wipe out the world. Um, but they are a viable option for you. Just as long as you are, you are okay 
with how badly they are going to tax everybody. If you actually speak to one of the one of the water traders, they will tell you that they have to pay a license um, for water. They then have to pay taxes and a license in order to uh, sell the water. They then have to pay taxes on top of the water that they have sold. The people are taxed to the extreme. The NCR is on its knees. If you speak to the girl at the 188 Trading Post, she will tell you they, ca they don't have the money to arm their own people. They don't have the money to actually give them uniforms. It, 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 the, the NCR is on its knees down whenever the whole of the New Vegas thing is going on. So, on the other side that came out of that vault, as I said to you, you had the followers of the apocalypse. The followers of the apocalypse, in their own little way, have a, you know, a nice idea. Stupid, but nice. Now, I have no problem with anybody getting free education. I have no problem with anybody getting free health care. I come from the United Kingdom. I get free health care. <laughs> um, you know, uh, there are some, some little fees when it comes to schools and things like that, but, but it's not that bad. You know what I mean? Um, you know, so <laughs> I have no problem whatsoever with anybody getting these things. Where I do have a problem was the NCO, or the followers random bizarre idea that it was okay for everybody and anybody under the sun to have technology and to run rat with them. There I had a problem because I would be very I, I would have to admit I, I, I would be quite like Kaiser at times. I don't agree with man's over-dependence on technology. I do believe man needs to learn to, you know, live without being so hard on it. Although in saying that, I am very brotherhood and I don't agree with everybody and anybody getting their hands on tech. We live in a world, people, where we are running to keep up with everything that is going on in technology and advancements and everything else and you cannot be saying yourself that it's all good because it's not really a lot of technology is now aimed at making some people's lives easier yes some people's lives just sheer lazy i i've actually sat outside a cafe and watched a girl turn around to her boyfriend and say to her boyfriend my phone isn't working why can't i get this selfie to work and he then pointed out to her that she had the camera facing the opposite direction I, you know <laughs> you're always going to have people like that and the followers want to give them all the free tech under the sun so you know the, the, the <laughs> They, in basis, are a good idea. In practice, it's gonna go wrong, really wrong. And that little group are the people who educated the leader and the creator, well, co-founder, should I say, but the namesake of Kaiser's Legion. Edward Sallow, as a young boy, lost his father while living in NCR territory. His mother then took a job working with the followers as a cleaner, where Edward was offered free education, free health care and everything else. Edward, for some reason, seems to harbour a serious resentment towards women. Now, me personally, I read a lot of books and studied a lot of areas and things like that. I, I sort of pick up from this that young Edward may have some psychological problems with his mother. And this is where this anti-female thing comes from. Now, I am never going to condone the Legion's treatment of women. 
I am never, ever going to condone the Legion's treatment of women. And I know a lot of people are turn uh, I've actually seen a lot of people recently be saying things like, oh, well, uh, the books that he read and everything else, he is nothing like Julius uh, Caesar. Um, he's this, he's that, he's blah, 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 blah. In the Roman Empire, women were not allowed to work. Women did not fight. Women were not allowed to go to gladiatorial events. That is actually true. It wasn't until the ADs, whenever the Colosseum, the brand new Colosseum was built and opened up, that women were allowed to actually go to this. For the first time ever, women single and married were allowed to watch the gladiators fighting on special permission from the emperor at that point in time. It was long after Julius and everybody else when that rule was actually that that was actually established, and women were allowed to do this. So the legion, the original legion themselves, were not. They really weren't the best bunch of people. Um, they were known for being quite brutish towards women, but a Roman woman was the archetype of everything a woman should be. She was honest, she was just, she was loyal, and she was her husband's property. So in a way you can see he is actually recreating the Roman Empire in a way. He has just got rid of uh, quite a few bits sort of to go with it. Um, there's no Senate. And when you actually have a conversation with the man, you will find he is highly intelligent. And I found quite funny. He's got a very twisted sense of humor that I actually quite get. And I, I think he's downright hilarious. And he was the reason I actually ended up giving the Legion a chance for once. My normal thing was actually just to turn up at Nipton, Nipton and wipe the living daylights out of everybody. And I decided after a conversation with uh, Kaiser and I was redoing my next build, I was like, do you know what it is? Let's give this guy a chance. Let's give this Legion a chance and see. Um, they are anti-drugs. They are anti-drink. They believe in meals being warriors and soldiers. Um, a lot of people will say, well, they're soldiers or slaves. Everybody in some way, shape or form, logically, before anybody tries to argue with me, logically is a slave to something in life. You're a slave to your job. You know, you're a slave to that cup of coffee you have in the morning because you don't feel right without it. Slavery is not something I will ever agree with. So don't ever think that that's what I'm saying. But slavery is a term that can be used in so many different ways, is what I'm saying to you. I mean, Kaiser himself is a slave to the image he created and to his legion. So he is actually enslaved to his own creation. He has created his own, his own addiction and his own chain around his own neck. Um, so you, sort of, you need to work out yourself who would be the best sort of way to go forward with it. Now, as I said, I have given you some of the sort of things of these two people, where they came from. They came from Fault 15. The groups originally are, are originated from Fault 15. Um, the followers of the Apocalypse are the reason why you actually have Caesar's Legion. Um, but he was born in NCR territory and he was an NCR citizen. So, you know, basically the NCR is responsible. Well, vault -Tac is responsible, but, you know, there's nothing really we can do about that one. Trying to find somebody from vault -Tac is nearly impossible until you get the Fallout 4, and then you can find the vault -Tac dude in the Rexford Hotel. Take it all out on him. Um, but basically, um, you know, they, they came from the same sort of place, and it's two different groups vying. You do have two other options, of course. You have Yesman, who is independent, and you have Robert House. 
Now, the whole main reason of this is you're doing a delivery for Robert House. Me personally, I have never done the house ending. Okay? In my eyes, the man is abusing technology and he should have been dead a hell of a long time ago. You know, um, the only thing I do with Robert House is, and there actually is, if you get all the DLCs and everything, the couriers pack and all the rest of it, so if you get the Game of the Year edition or you download all the DLCs on the Xbox One or whatever way you're doing it, um, you will actually get an achievement if you kill Robert House with Nefiri Driver's Driver. That's what I do every time. I, I, I just take the guy down. Um, he should have died a long time ago. So I, I, I haven't sided with House yet. But, you know, I, I can't agree with the man. I really can't agree with the man. I, I do see him as a complete and utter lunatic <laughs> that seems to have a weird thing for his robots on wheels. Um, apparently they were his girlfriends and all before the war i don't know these things but these are the stories that are said about them as for yes man you know is yes man's army uh, an independent if you do independent is that army actually going to look after the people of the mojave as well and protect them from raiders or is it just going to look after that one piece of strip of land and the dam for you you know what i mean it, you, you gotta think sort of of the bigger picture when you're doing those although go for it get get the get the achievements of course i still have to get that achievement i i just can't motivate myself into doing either of those two endings yet and i've been playing new vegas from it first came out it's a bit embarrassing isn't it um now I, things that were changed in the game okay the NCR as I say has had a bit of a checkered past and they wanted to make the NCR look a lot more friendly so in order to do so they created the ultimate enemy for the NCR to up against which was Kaiser's Legion now you were supposed to have three more companions in this game and there were supposed to be other options if you did the Legion side. Um, one of your companions was supposed to be Victor for doing the house ending. One of your companions was supposed to be Benny for doing the independent ending. And your other companion was supposed to be Wolfus and Kata, the silvered fox, or should I say the silver tongue fox of the Legion. All three of them were removed by the game makers um why i have no idea i can guess me personally i think that they were trying to push you in the direction of the ncr you only have one companion who will be legion friendly ish and that is raul he is a girl and he will tell you that he used to live in arizona and what the place was like before the legion came in and he basically tells you that once the Legion came in and took control of everything, life got a lot better. I mean, he basically, he, he's the only Legion friendly person that you're going to find. Um, Veronica, well, she's Brotherhood, but she'll lean towards the NCR quicker. She'll tell you uh, the horror stories that she's heard about the Legion. Um, but she will then turn around and say to you, well, um, the Legion males prefer each other more than they actually prefer females. So, and as for Boone, Boone is hardline NCR. So uh, they, they basically went quite out of their way to make things more pro NCR, to push you in the direction of doing the NCR ending. Um, the Caesar, Caesar Legion, you were supposed to be able to ally the Brotherhood with them but that ending was removed as well. So it's, it's a bit as if the makers went out of their way to make the NCR into the ultimate good guys that they never were. Um, so they went out of their way to sort of create the ultimate bad guy. That's my take on it. 
you know, that's the way I'm sort of seeing it. I would sort of, you know, my advice for Fallout New Vegas is have fun. That's the whole point of the Fallout games. Try not to overthink everything too much. There's people like me around to do that for you. Um, enjoy it. Get all four endings. Um, and logically, take things apart before you throw your weight behind one of the factions. But, you know, that that's my 50 cents on it anyway. Well, I'm going to go and talk to these people because I believe they actually need me to do something for them. Um, I am going to go and check out Starlight quite soon. Um, so I shall say, I'll catch you all soon, people. Probably in about 45 minutes I'll be over to start recording on the Starlight. So I shall catch you all on the flip side. Stay safe and have fun. This is Sentinel.